Lately, we've seen financial wars uh, whereby the United States Federal Reserve, which is its central bank, raised uh, the interest rates uh, very quickly and very suddenly, which caused a huge increase in debt service. So poorer countries of the developing world now, they had to pay much more debt uh, service, higher interest rates, and it created difficulties for their economies. It also created capital flight from the developing world into the United States in what's called a flight to safety. But that's not it. There are more elements of financial wars, such as financial sanctions. In Latin America, you see uh, attacks on human rights of the people of Cuba, on the people of Venezuela, of Nicaragua, because of financial sanctions that the United States Office of Foreign Assets and Control is deploying like a, a weapon. Uh, this is the contemporary 21st uh, century type of warfare. The financial warfare is one of them. We want, with the human rights approach, undo all of these unilateral coercive measures called sanctions. We want to have equilibrium in terms of the international monetary system, and we want a bigger role for special drawing rights so that they can become a tool for development, a tool for human rights.